All right, guys, good afternoon. My name is Michael Marks. Um, today, we're going to demonstrate uh, a new midline catheter called the RevelMed midline. It's a fairly unique device. Um, this is the first of its kind that I've seen that you actually start a peripheral IV first, and then as you flush with a flush mechanism, the midline actually floats into the vessel through the peripheral. So very excited to see uh, how this plays out. Uh, this is our first insertion. Um, we're going to go in with either the basilic or the brachial vein of the upper arm. We know that the catheter itself is 15 centimeters in length, so we don't want to cross the axillary plane. Um, and again, the reason we're going to the upper arm is because we have much larger vessels. They're going to be straighter. We're not going to run into as many bifurcations or valves. And we're really hoping for the catheter to make an easy pass. So. Um, as we present this, um, we'll look at it, we'll review it. We're gonna check for echogenicity, uh, flow, and ultimately for the patient's comfort. So uh, we've already scrubbed the arm. We've already prepped our patient. Uh, we're gonna do this in a sterile technique with a sterile probe, um, sterile gloves, and, um, and we'll see how this goes. So thank you all. And we are in. That's a bloodless catheter, and you all can see that we have excellent um, blood return in the window. We we'll go ahead and pop the catheter or the tourniquet. I'm sorry. Um, and then what we're going to do is this is the actual catheter, and it is built into again the flush connection on this device. So we're going to go ahead and retract out. We've got good blood return. We're going to go ahead and hook it up. And now what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to allow blood to come back into the flush mechanism. And now we will slowly just back flush saline into the vessel. And what we have done is we have just deployed a midline into our individual. So I'm going to go ahead and flush with the rest of the saline. We'll disconnect. And what we will do, I'm just going to use this sterile towel. We'll clean our site up and we're going to go ahead and fix a dressing with this. And we're going to use Starboard Medical's Click Fix dressing on this. This is a foam dressing. That, that works really, really well with this particular device. The dressing's very unique. This portion is going to slide under. And so what we'll do here, peel the backing off of that. You want to center up your peripheral IV, make sure everything's sealed. This is a very interesting device here. It's a foam. It's a very soft foam, very pliable. It will be very comfortable for the patient. The second portion of this is just going to go right over the hub and it will affix there and one of the things that I really 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 like about this dressing is when you go to secure it you can simply horseshoe it back and use the foam strip as an anchoring device for your midline so from start to finish that is a 15 centimeter Revel Med midline all right, guys, so our catheter has been in for a total of 29 days. We're going to go ahead and extract the catheter out. So what I want you all to remember is, is we simply started this procedure with just a regular 20 gauge peripheral. In deploying the flush factor into this, we've actually advanced a 15 centimeter midline. So now we're going to, to remove it out. And we'll just hold a little pressure over the insertion site. 
and there's our peripheral and as you all can see the midline is following the peripheral catheter all the way back out to a 15 centimeter length so our peripheral and our midline have both come out very smoothly patient tolerated the procedure well we're just going to hold pressure on the site right now and we'll finish with the tegadone